Getting an engineering degree isn't what I thought it would be. I'll take you through in this vlog the reasons why. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Um, so in this vlog, I wanted to share a bit about what I wish I was told in tertiary before I got my engineering degree. In fact, before I even pursued it. Um, so getting an engineering degree isn't what one would usually think it will result in. So I can tell you, back in school, I always thought that, you know, we, we would get bored, we'd stay behind, especially with the mechanical engineering degree, um, you'd stay behind your desk on CAD and designing amazing infrastructures or equipment, designing new um, high-tech refrigeration systems um, that you'd end up in overalls the entire day um, and be dirty with hard hats and not be attractive. Yeah, so it's actually not entirely true. So I've come across a couple of people who have engineering qualifications but are actually not in a hardcore engineering environment. So yes, you've got your civil engineers in construction, your chemical engineers in, you know, in petroleum and chemical um, manufacturing facilities. You've got your industrial engineers in continuous improvement and mechanical engineers in maintenance and, and, and in design. But it doesn't necessarily always end up that way for all engineers. I've met some people who are in marketing, um, who are in finance, some who are in senior leadership positions. This is actually one of the main reasons why I'm passionate about vlogging around number one, engineering and also around leadership. Because not only do engineers sit behind desks designing or ending up in factories and, and, and being swallowed up by machines um, and not engaging and interacting with people as much as we would think, um, but they also get recognized quite highly, especially in, in leadership positions. Um, for everyone that asks me, why would I study an engineering degree? Why should I pursue that qualification? I'm not passionate about steel and metal and nuts and bolts and pumps and, and valves. Um, you don't have to be. What the engineering qualification actually teaches you is the ability to solve problems. So yes, it's an extensive course, four years, five for some. Um, but... If you look at the different courses and the different modules, whether it's thermodynamic strength of materials, electromechanics, um, aerodynamics, um, applied mathematics, all of them actually, they, they, they actually push you to solve problems. Whether it's Newton's first, second and third laws or you're solving integrals, um, all of it is really to, to challenge you to think and to solve problems. See it as solving for X. So you've got a missing equation or, in, or a missing part of your puzzle. Um, but as an engineer, especially in the workplace, whether you're in banking or in finance, whether you're in leadership in continuous improvement in factories and mines, um, in consultations, um, what sort out or sought after of what you've got with your qualification is your quick ability to, to be um, posed with a problem um, and being able to use the skills that you had in your, in your tertiary and thinking logically um, in solving that problem. So if you were to ask me, um, should you get an engineering degree because you'll be um, put in brutes and, and uh, hard hat and be you know left out in the sun to to dry um, or whether it's boring and and it's going to get you dirty day in and day out not necessarily it's beneficial because you can solve problems and actually you're not restricted with your qualification in the fields that you can work in I've got engineers that have been um, selected to work in logistics and in planning um, or in procurement um, whereas vice versa, if you just had a supply chain qualification, for example, um, or just an accounting degree, for example, you wouldn't be able, um, you wouldn't be, it wouldn't be as easy for you to get a, a, a job or a role in, in an engineering type, type environment. So if you're wondering whether you should get that engineering degree, um, but are not yet quite sure whether you want to end up in a factory or a mine, I suggest and encourage that you do because you can never go wrong. You can use it in almost all, um, all functions and in all environments. 
I do encourage that you you continue to study in science, technology, and, and engineering. Um, the trend currently is in digitization, so think about how to 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 you know to channel your your selection of your qualification to more futuristic, more digital um, digital facing um, function for you to guarantee success and and secure a, a role or a job in future. So do continue to, to follow my videos. Please subscribe um, to my channel. I'll continue to share content on engineering, on leadership, on career development, um, so we can continue to take this journey together. Uh, thank you guys for all your support. Shop.